Hey guys, welcome back to It's All About Racing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a car, quite frankly, that I forgot that I had. Brand new, just unboxed it this morning. Uh, this is a Shapiro Motorsports Porsche 962C, which placed fourth at the 24 Hours of Daytona in 1990. Now, this was a non-factory effort. This was an independently uh, run Porsche 962, as many were, and I suspect it was highly modified, and we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Now, this model is made in 143 scale by Spark. Uh, consequently, it comes in this, uh, what I call a pull-through, see-through box, which has open ends, so you can pull the model right out of it. And like all their model collections, uh, this one being a non-24 hours Le Mans car uh, is a limited edition vehicle, this one being 186 out of 500. Uh, also, because this car competed in the 24 Hours of Daytona, the box is American-themed. And as you can see as I roll it around here, it's clearly got stars and stripes everywhere, as you would expect from an American-themed box. Now, the car comes on this wooden base with this very, very nice acrylic jewel cover encompassing it all. I gotta tell you, I fought like hell this morning trying to find good historical context to give you beyond being a Porsche 962C, which there are about a million of them out there made by just about everybody. I can tell you that this car uh, was brought to you by Shapiro Motorsports and I suspect may have been built by Brumos Porsche, which you see on the back on the rear wing. The drivers were Harold Groves, Hans Joachim Stuck, Hurley Haywood, and Renee Herzog. And I did discover th that this particular chassis was built in August of 1989. Now this came up for sale uh, and w was auctioned off for nine for five hundred for five hundred five hundred ninety um, thousand uh, dollars, about six hundred thousand dollars U.S. Now, as I'm sure you probably know, these cars were designed by no other than Norbert Singer. And were introduced in 1984 to run the World Sports Car Championship Group C category. And over this decade-long career in Group C, it won the 24 Hours of La Mans twice uh, and other titles. Uh, the 962 variants with dual turbochargers were run under the World Sports Car Regulations, but also eligible under IMSA Group 3 engine rules. And this obviously was one of those with the 24 hours of Daytona in 1990. Now, due to the sheer number of these built, Porsche produced 91 of them. Some teams took it upon themselves to adapt the car to better suits their needs. Some of the modifications include new bodywork, better aerodynamic efficiency, and Jost Racing was famous for this. This one has a very unique rear end, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. And if any of you know anything about this, please let me know in the comments, because I would love to learn more. Now, this being a Spark model, details on this are absolutely phenomenal. Looking at this from the non-driver's side, uh, you can see wheel details are exceptional. Beautifully done in chrome uh, with gold trim. Goodyear tires abound. The finish on this car is excellent. Uh, details are exceptional. You can see the names of the drivers on the driver's window. Uh, if you take a look in here, I mean, just beautiful uh Intake grill work, uh, I imagine that would be, uh, if not for the engine, for the rear wheels. You have the aerial on top. They did really nice detail work on the interior cabin. This is the tow hook, a little tiny part here that you would almost miss if you didn't look specifically at it. Uh, the front of the car looks great with headlights, everything else. And if you take a look at the interior of it, it is really immaculately done. Look at the cabin. I mean, that is just... Guys, I'm just going to, it's, it's fucking gorgeous. Uh, you can see you know, the, the grill's better, you know, looking at it from this side. Very, very nicely done. Well, well done by Spark. Now, taking a look at it from the driver's side, it's not much different from the passenger side. We won't spend a whole lot of time there. But you do note the names of all the drivers there on the base. See the American flag up on top. Now, this is looking at a top view, and you can see the test here. A model car manufacturer, although this car was made by Spark. Apparently, they were one of the sponsors to some extent. You see 76 on there. And if you take a look at the back, this is where it really gets interesting. Now, notice that this is a limited edition model. This was number 186 out of 500. I absolutely love the way Spark does that. And then looking specifically at this thing, wow, this is really bizarre. 
Now, I suspect that might be an exhaust port that you see there on the left. Some of these things, I'm really not sure what we're really looking at. I hate lifting this up by the wing, so I'm not gonna. Uh, excuse me for a second here. I had to pick it up by the base to show you the rear of this and just look at the detail in there. I mean, you know, the, the, the tail lights are exceptional. You see the grill work, the, the tires, look how wide and fat they are. Uh, and I don't know what we're really looking at the back here. I see a tow hook and there's some contraption attached to the braces that hold the rear wing in there. And it looks like that might be an exhaust, one of many on this car. In fact, it looks like it's got like four exhaust ports, so they may just be airports. I'm not sure. I'll drop that down. Sorry about that. Now, here's a look at one of the exhaust ports, and this is on the on the rear engine canopy, and you can see that little opening there. There's two of them, and it looks like that may be an exhaust port of some sort. There's also one clearly here on the driver's side above where you see Bosch, and I showed you one in the rear a moment ago. And take a look at that rear wing and how just bizarre that whole thing is. The support work, everything. It is just really, really different and I think really bears a good look. Anyhow, that concludes this video. If there's any information that you know about this car that you would like to share with me and other modelers, I would certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe. See you next time.